Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? Are you doing well? It is like two o'clock today. And <laughs> to me, this is like the new morning. It's crazy. So I thought we can get ready together. And then I'm going to go out for a nice walk. And I need to get a few more jobs done. So I was thinking if we could do this together today and just chill. Um, what do you think? So I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to get ready. <laughs> Do you guys brush your teeth first or wash your face first? I'm gonna brush my teeth first. Ooh. So I was actually going to washing my face. So I'm gonna go in with the cleansing milk from Cordially and also the uh, cleansing oil from here. This is the makeup removing cleansing oil. I'm going to mix the two together and then I'm also going to go on with the exfoliator. This is the gentle buffing cream here as well. So basically I'm going to use these. I'm also going to use grape water. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to wash my hands. So you should be washing your hands before you're touching your face. It's really important. I'm going to make sure you're washing them really well. Please remember to be gentle with your skin. It's really important that we're not aggressive with it as you can actually damage your skin by being aggressive. And you can definitely cause premature aging. So we just want to be very gentle, especially around the eye area, especially when you're removing it as well. And you want to be very gentle. Gosh, my skin needs an exfoliation. And then I'm just using a washcloth. And you just want to very gently use. No dragging or rubbing too much. Just very gently on the eyes. Forget the neck. And look at all the dead skin that came off. Gross. And you want to wash this out. And then you want to do a second cleanse. The reason you do two cleanses is because the first cleanse removes uh, free radicals. So pollution, uh, dirt that's sitting on the surface of the skin. Um, if you're wearing makeup, it removes makeup. And then the second cleanse actually cleans your skin. So this is important that you do cleanse twice. Honestly, if you do a double cleanse, you will notice the difference in your skin almost immediately. Give it like two days and you will notice it. It's crazy. That's my mum in the background singing. <laughs> with the washcloth. <clears throat> Again, even more dead skin came off. It's crazy. I really need to exfoliate. I'm going to take my exfoliator and I'm going to take this much. They also do a deep one as well. I'm just using the light one. And I'm taking the oil, three pumps, oops, together, mix it. It takes it down to a more gentle formula. So it's not as a, what's the word, aggressive on the skin. 
my eye will start my cheeks, goes up to my nose. Definitely don't forget your nose. I don't really take it any higher than here. So I wouldn't go right into your eye with this. You don't need to. Pay special attention to areas where you know you get most dry. For me, it's around my mouth and on my nose is where I get most dry. So you focus on where you know your skin gets dry the most. <sighs> oh, I feel so nice cleaning my skin. Do the neck. Don't forget the neck. Make sure you are not doing aggressively. Make sure you wash your hands of all the scrub before you start taking it off. Feeling much better. I look a bit red, but don't worry, that'll go down. It's just erythema, so it's where the blood has come to the surface of the skin from the heat of the flannel. Going in with great water next, and I'm just misting it all over. Oh, my phone is now wet. I just misted the great water all over. It will just help to put the moisture back in where it was lacking because uh, we don't really strip the skin, but we've been doing quite a lot of activities that can be quite removing of the skin. So putting the water back in will help with my hydration level. So we're in a new space now. This is all different. It is a, ooh, message. It's a work in progress so far. So uh, <clears throat> when I've done it all, I will do a, like a reveal. But as of right now, everything is changing because I'm trying to find a space where I can film more regularly. So I'm going in with my Vino Perfect Serum from Cordially to start with. I'm going to do like, I always apply more than they say, this much. This helps with uh, pigmentation, dark circles, anything kind of that needs brightening on the skin, this is excellent for. It actually contains an ingredient called viniferin, which is 62 times more effective than vitamin C at brightening the skin. So go on with this first. And then my skin is really freaking out at the minute. So I'm just wanna keep my skincare routine simple. So I'm gonna go in with my eye lifting balm from the Breast Troll as always, my favourite. And I'm just going to apply this under my eye area. <sighs> Lovely. And next, I'm actually going to go in with this. This is from Avino. It's Dermaplex Daily Emollient Cream. And I'm using this today because my skin is really freaking out at the minute. And whenever my skin is in a really bad way, I always go back to this cream just because it really helps to soothe the skin. Um, I just find it helps more. Just apply this all over. This is like a rich treatment for the skin. And then I'm gonna go on with my Laneige Sleeping Lip Balm as well. Mm. 
love this. Smells like strawberries as well. Which is really nice. And then next, I'm going on with this here. This is by Organic and it's Marula Oil. Do like four pumps, which is probably too much product, but I like to give my skin a really good drink. And I apply this all over as well. <sighs> Feels good. So I'm gonna let this all sink in. I actually need to go and clean the bathroom. Um, fun! So I just go and clean the bathroom and then I will put on a bit of makeup and then we can go and explore. I say explore, we can go outside. Um, yeah. One thing I want to say actually before I go about oil is oil helps your skin if it's lacking in, well, oil basically. So how can I explain this? There's two types of dry skin. So you have dehydrated and you have dry. Dehydrated means your skin is lacking in water. And then you also have dry skin where your skin is cracking, flaking, peeling. This is where it's tingling my skin, like it, like in a, in a good way, like it feels like it's doing something. Um, anyway, if your skin is dry, flaky, it's lacking in oil. So that's the best way to know. So two ways to combat it is if your skin is dry, flaky, it needs oil. Something like um, a ruler is really hydrating. Um, also, rosehip oil is really good as well. You just need to make sure that they are cold pressed. Organic is the best because uh, it has all the nutrients in there still. Um, of course, make sure it's safe for face, like it's cosmetic grade. And then if your skin is dehydrated, lacking like in water, the best thing to do is use like a water spray, like the one from Cordley that I used earlier, so the great water. Um, I think Aven do one, thermal spring water as well, this is good. And uh, I think also, top tip I tell clients sometimes as well is if they don't want to invest in one yet um obviously using like a particular water has more benefit to it like you have like with the grape water you have all the nutrients from the grapes which is better or like the fatty acids and juiciness um but something that people can do is when they get out the shower or the bath is when your skin is still wet you want to put your moisturizer on top of wet skin and it will really help to push the moisture back into the skin, so push the water back in. Really, that's that's like, I mean, the, the best tips I could obviously offer you. Um, I'm gonna actually finish, I wasn't gonna use this because my skin can get sensitive to this. This is the Beauty Elixir from Cordially. You have to shake it up. Oh, that's lovely. Really refreshing. Yeah, I'm gonna go clean the bathroom now and uh, then we'll be back with some makeup. job's done now I'm thinking we can do a little bit of makeup so what are we feeling today what are we thinking I am thinking put my lipsticks on there still haven't figured out this whole new filming area yet um I'm gonna put you further back Everything is still on lockdown in the sense of figuring everything out. But let's do, I wanna do something nice and glowy today. So I'm actually gonna go on with Revolution Strobe Cream, or it's called Ultra Strobe Cream, yeah. Just apply this.
Girl, that is strobe <laughs> It's a bit sticky, actually. It's really gold. I don't know if you can see this on camera. Like, it looks really gold. I'm not mad, though. Uh, next, let's go on with what foundation shall we wear today? Hmm. I, I'm gonna try the Dior Forever. This is in shade 022, so I actually do think this is a little bit dark for me, but we're gonna make it work going on with the Chanel flat, flat brush. Just apply this all over. It's been a while since I've used like a flat brush. I normally use uh, like a, what's it called? Like a Kabuki because I find it applies much faster uh, all over. Today I'm thinking we'll just use this because it's, it's closest and it's easier for me to use today. So I apply my forehead. Oh. Don't forget the neck, beesh. The neck is important. I feel like I need to start getting into a routine because I don't know if anybody else has fallen out of a routine. I really have fallen out of a routine at the minute. And um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it's good to take time to heal for yourself, but. Strawberry milkshake, everybody. Cheers. My milkshake brings little boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than y'all. It's damn right. <laughs> uh, where did Khalees go? Is she still around? Like, what happened to her? Remember Khalees? Like, it was yesterday. Just using a beauty blender to buff it all in. I feel like doing something natural glam today, honey. What's the word of the day? Snatural. Natural, but snatched. Snatural. <laughs> Do I want to powder this? Uh, a little bit. So, let's go in. I'm going to go in with Ben Nye Banana Powder. Uh, I'm just going to type a bit out on my desk. Oops, that's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pick up my beauty blender using the flat edge from Real Techniques. Uh, I'm just going to pat it under here. This will just help to brighten up my under eyes and also stop it from creasing underneath the eyes. Lovely. And then I'm just going to go on with, I think with my NYX powder, HD finishing powder. Uh, we'll just go with a big brush. Pat this on. And then just apply in this like that. Brush off some of the excess into my eyes. I don't really want to bake it. I just want the powder to go there to give me a brightness. You see that brightness, even without concealer? Bright and glowy. So, next. Oh, let's do highlighter, actually. Let's go into some highlighters I've not used. I always use the Doll Beauty. Let's use something else for a change. 
Um, let's do into something that is that is not discontinued. Well, I say accessible in a sense, so it's not discontinued. Let's go in with this is Laura Geller, New York. Uh, why am I shaking? Look, do you see me shaking? Uh, and it's called Charming Pink. Let's go in with this. Let's fish my highlighter brush. I really want to buy some new brushes. I want to buy, uh, you know, the Dull Beauty brushes. Oh, that's pretty. Laura Geller highlighters are really pigmented. It's the baked, they're called the baked gelatos. They do like, I think they do three or four. They probably do more than that now. Um, yeah, I want to do a lot more. I remember they did one called uh, Diamond Dust which was this kind of uh, holographic-y highlighter. Everyone used to go crazy for that. Is that still a thing? Comment if you know down below if that's still a thing, because it was a thing when I was, you know, well, when I was last at Laura Geller, which would have been a while ago. Well, that's nice. Like that, changing up the routine, honey. Next, let's go in so I'll do a little bit of blusher today so we'll go in with this it's from Too Faced it's the Sweetheart Candy Glow blush so there we go these are quite shimmery remember I bought this because I used to be obsessed with the Dior Rosy Glow and I still am obsessed with that but this was like a nice alternative at the time because rosy glow was getting more and more expensive don't get me wrong i don't mind paying for expensive things if they're good quality and things but at that moment in time i just hadn't do you know what i find crazy as well is even being someone who used to work the counters and sell makeup to people i find it I'm not intimidated because I'm not scared, but I find going shopping for makeup in person now really, I guess the word is uncomfortable. I find myself feeling uncomfortable to go into the shops and I don't know why that is. Um, and it's a bit weird why I feel like that really, considering I used to work in there for a long time, like years. It was, it wasn't like a short, sorry, loud, it wasn't like a short spell. It was years that I did it. Um, it feels strange. This is Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Give this a go. I've not used this for a while. It's quite interesting actually using products I've not used for a while. This is quite nice actually. Oh, it's, you know what? Compared to what I would normally wear, this is quite light. I mean, color wise, which is quite nice. Just warm up the face. Yeah, I like it. Oh my gosh, the box doesn't fit. Why? There we go. <laughs> um, what's next? I guess next is like eyes. So <gasps> I just want to do like a light wash of color across the lids. <sighs> Don't blow on your palettes if you're professional. I'll go into Beauty Killer from Jeffree Star. Um, I'm going to go in, I think, with Courtney, and I think it's China White. No, it's Princess. And uh, then let's take another brush. I need like a fluffy brush. Um, preferably one that doesn't need to be cleaned. <laughs> Ooh, I need help. I don't need help, I just need to not be lazy. Okay, 
see if this one's clean. Yeah, it appears to be clean. I'm going into Courtney, that kind of taupey brown shade. Ooh, that's pigmented. Just gonna buff that. Give me a nice bit of colour. Nothing too much today. I can't be bothered. Don't worry, those of you who are here for the full on dramatic eye looks, I'm feeling inspired and I'm gonna do that very soon. I'm feeling a couple of different ideas coming on for tutorials and things. So don't worry if this is for you, it's coming, honey. Don't panic. Yeah, that's nice. Just give a little bit of colour to the lid. And let's do a little bit on the lower lid. Oh, green on it. Just clean. Just do a little bit underneath. Cute. I'm gonna take some of Princess and just tap that just in there. Just to brighten up my inner corner. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Just blend it with my fingers actually a bit harsh in that light just then. Eyebrows. Let's go take an angle brush and I'm gonna go into Life's a Drag by Manny M M U A, And I'm gonna go into the shade Mug, this one. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows with that. Get a comb for my brows. I'm going to come in closer so you can see what I'm doing. I don't really like the fluffy brow on me. I think it looks amazing on everyone else. I just, it's just not for me, the fluffy brow trend. I know so many people love it. I just don't feel like it looks nice on me. And my eyebrows don't have the capacity to go like that, to be honest. Um, they just don't. So, I don't even attempt it really. Comb it through just to soften that brow. Is that nice? Is it a little bit too much? I think, it... where's the foundation brush? Let me show you this trick. So when I feel like I've gone too much, I just take my foundation brush and I just, go back over and it just calms it down a little bit. Well, you're probably going to say that looks exactly the same. I feel like it softens it. So. I will just do my other brow and we're back. back and then we will be back. So 
I feel like maybe popping some lashes on would be nice with this. So let's get my lashes out. This cute container, how cute. And uh, let's do some like medium sized eyelashes. I don't want to go too crazy. Let me just get my glue. Sorry, so, I had to move uh, you. These are Primark lashes. These are in Salt Tree. Pulling off the old glue. You can re-wear your eyelashes, by the way. Don't wear them once and throw them away. So we've got lashes Never on. Do. I love how lashes can take you from a zero to a hundred real quick. So lip colour now. What are we going to do? I'm feeling excited. I'm liking my makeup today. I'm feeling fresh. So what shall we do? We're thinking neutral. We're thinking bright. We're thinking nice. I'm thinking something... I don't know. Something nice. I'm feeling lipstick today rather than liquid lipstick I think I'm, I'm feeling this Bobbi Brown yeah look it's nice this is in the shade Nude Rose so let me get a lip liner uh, let's just do this one actually this will be fine this is called Cranberry it's by MAC I think it's discontinued now actually So this lipstick is not a lipstick that I normally wear either. So going into things that I don't normally use again. <gasps> this lipstick matches it perfectly. Fine, what? Because once it can come to fruition. Yeah. It's quite a small batch here. Oh. It's quite tiny. Oh. Is, that, is that what she said? Yeah. She wants a peacock. What? I would like a peacock, but not I mean, in reality. I like the shade. I like the shade. Going in with the Your Show mascara just to finish off the eyelashes now that they're glued down. Just give them a little bit more definition and just to blend them with my real lashes, the Your Show. Just to take it over the edge, let's do a little bit of white eyeliner and get it out. Um, it's called Highbrow. Oh, that felt weird. Set my makeup. I gotta move you again. Sorry, I will figure out this. Oh, I can't open the drawer. Look, I'm basically like doing it like this right right now, and it's like a little bit stressful. Okay. <laughs> ah! 
We're here for the gags. Uh, hangover, three and one. Spray. Woo. What fun is it today? Do we know? It is Nina West. Oh, mirror's covered. So this is today's look. I'm excited. So let's go and do some things, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. Um, let's just sort through a few bits as well. And then we're just gonna chill, maybe make some food. So I will take you with me. Let's go. Yeah. 